Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. I'll just cut to the chase. With these three characters, rather than two. Whips. Real name, Wendy Lynch. Height, 5 feet 10 inches. Weight, 146 pounds. Status, anti-hero in Rival of Madame Shear. Base, Seattle, mobile. Intelligence, four brains. Behavior. Intellectual, willful, and somewhat sneaky, she'll do anything to be better than Madame Shear. Lethality. Highly deadly to most opponents. Weaknesses. She has no healing factor. Powers. She wields a variety of whips that she had made herself. Like electric whips, flaming whips, spiked whips, stretchy whips, ice whips, and her odds whip can increase the odds of a random occurrence. She also possesses martial arts, high agility, and a high intellect. Eyes sky blue, hair light blonde and wavy. Origin. Wendy Lynch was an everyday weapons designer who learned that Madame Shear had taken all the glory. Due to her love of whips, an outraged Wendy decided to make an arsenal of whips in order to end and even kill Shear. However, when whips fought against Shear, she called out help from Dagger and Fear to defeat her. After her defeat, Whips begs Shear to spare her life, and she decided to spare her. Since then, Whips would do anything to at least be her equal. Costume. She simply wears a black leather suit. Team solitary with Madame Shear or with others. Or some inspiration, DC's Lashina. Here's the next character. Greek. Real name, Lisa Goodwin. Height, 1.5 million feet to vast. Weight, unrevealed to vast. Status, hero and goddess of leadership. Base, Asclepius. Recent, mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, witty, flirtatious, and utterly protective. She'll do anything to protect all innocents from most forms of danger. Lethality, extremely dangerous to anything chaotic. Weaknesses, being rivaled, and thoughts of failure. Powers, she has immense size and strength, uncanny reasoning skills, and knows how to handle with most trouble. She recently gained vast cosmic powers, allowing her to be more capable of saving lives. Eyes greenish-blue, hair deep brown in a right fauxhawk. Origin Lisa Goodwin was once a woman who wanted to help others. One day, Lisa was visited by Portal, who transported her to ancient Greece, alongside making her as big as a mountain. She walked to Athens, where the natives made her a big set of robes and sandals. Greek was asked by the Emperor to be their secret weapon against the Romans, which was a success. Soon, Greek was eventually confronted by Cosmic, who knocked her out and destroyed her people. She later awoke in Asgolympius, where Goddess hired her to become a new member of the Alpha Gods, becoming the Goddess of Leadership. Costume she recently wears a white toga, golden sandals, and a brass lock with a capital G that holds her toga together. Team Solitary with the Alpha Gods or other heroes. Original inspiration, the Olympians. Here's the last character. Volcana. Real name, inapplicable. Height and weight varied. Status, anti-hero and master of volcanoes. Base, the core of any planet. Intelligence, four and a half rings. Behavior. Stubborn and destructive, she'll do anything to end all life. Lethality as above. Weaknesses, cold temperatures. Powers. She's made entirely of liquid magma. She has enough power to make every volcano in the cosmos erupt, active or not. She can also use her magma as weapons on her opponents. Eyes and hair made of magma. Origin. One time, Wrath decided that Another way to destroy all life would be to create a being of power. She soon constructed Volcana, a woman made of magma who's also the one who started the Great Dying. The worst disaster in prehistoric history.
millions of years later, Volcana reawakened from her hibernation to destroy all life on the default Earth. However, she eventually fought against Aqua until being frozen solid by the abominable Snow Girl. Afterwards, Volcana tried the same thing with the Alpha Earth until being defeated by Trident. Nowadays, Volcana would always think twice before messing with others that prove themselves to be out of her league. Costume. She simply wears nothing, respectively, you know. She doesn't need any clothes, you know. Team Solitary, or with others. Original Inspiration, Volcanoes. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed those three characters and such. And I did three to see if I could actually make things work for you guys' behalf, you know. And if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. Hope you guys have a decent Valentine's Day and such, and until next time, in transmission.